Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anya, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to make these cute cat ear clips from air dry clay. First of all, I ordered these metal clips and didn't realize they were too small until they arrived, so I was only able to attach half of the ears, but they still work fine. So let's begin with the materials. For the pink cat ears, we'll need white and red air dry clay, a pair of alligator clips, a silicone rolling pin, these pair of popsicle sticks stuck together to make sure the ears are flattened evenly, wood glue or PVA glue, heart-shaped cookie cutters, a fondant cutting tool, water and baby wipes in case we need to smoothen and soften the clay. Let's begin by making pink clay. Get about 25 grams of white clay and a pea-sized amount of red clay and knead them together. This clay is from my Clay Baby Air Dry Clay Collection. I've linked my store in the description so you'll know where you can get them. They come in different colors and are somewhat flexible when dry and they are much cheaper than polymer clay. I'm including some leftover pink clay to avoid wasting it. You can store these in airtight containers and they could last for about 2 weeks to a month. We need the cat ears to attach well to the clip, so in order to do that, we need to start by creating a clay base. Grab a small ball of the pink clay and gently flatten it into a thin strip. Place glue on top of the clip. Wood glue works well, but for a more lasting hold, use a stronger glue. Then attach the clip face down on the sheet of clay. When cutting the clay, we need to leave a bit of extra space from the clip as air dry clay shrinks about 40% of its original size. This will ensure that the clay base will shrink to roughly the size of our alligator clips. If you don't have a fondant cutting tool, you can remove the blade from a box cutter and use that instead to create an even cut. Just make sure you don't cut your silicone mat. You can place the clay on a smooth plastic sheet to avoid that. Now let's work on the cat ears. You want to knead your clay well to remove air bubbles before you flatten it. Use the popsicle sticks this time to make sure all sides are even. Gently roll the rolling pin over the clay but avoid pressing too hard. Take the large hard cutting tool and cut the first ear. Then later, we will use the fondant cutting tool to trim the base. You can also use a square shaped cutter, but the hard ones produce a more narrow triangle. Once you've trimmed the ear to its correct shape, gently shape the bottom into a short curve so it would follow the shape of your head. Let's repeat the steps for the other ear. For the inner part of the ear, we need to take a small amount of pink clay and mix it with more white to produce a light pastel pink shade. Knead it well and flatten it gently with a rolling pin. We don't need the popsicle sticks as we need this part to be thin. Next, we're going to take the smaller heart-shaped cutter to create the same triangular shape, trim the excess at the bottom, and glue these small triangles to the larger ones. Press the edges gently to fuse them well. We don't want them separating during the drying process. Repeat the steps with the other ear. Now that we're done with the ears, it's time to attach them to the clips. Just take your wood glue or any stronger glue and apply it generously over the top of the clip. Leave a bit of space for the clamp as you want to easily attach them to your head. Now repeat the process for the other clip. When you're done, leave them to dry for about 24 to 48 hours. You need to place them on a silk screen so either side will dry evenly. You might need to flip them over once in a while if they start to curl. 
That means one side isn't getting as much air as the other. Once they've dried, you can spray them with clear lacquer to protect them from damage and dirt. So here's the final product. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you decide to make this, don't forget to tag me. My social media accounts are in the description below. Lastly, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and share. Plus subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching! Bye!